Okay. Well, here it is. Um, I don't even have to wait and, um, for us to deal with this story. The story is here. And, um, prosecutors say on Friday, um, charged Maxwell Anderson with first degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse and arson in a connection with a severed leg discovered at Warner Mark Park in Cudahy and a missing 19-year-old woman from Milwaukee. A criminal complaint said that a human leg found in the park has been preliminary identified as 19-year-old Sade Robinson, who was reported missing from Milwaukee Brewer Heroes neighborhood the night of April 2nd. Her friend reported her missing for not showing up to work. According to the complaint, Robinson told a worker at her apartment that she was excited for a first date she had on the night of Monday, April 1st, which prosecutors say was with Anderson. The complaint shows a series of texts between phone numbers belonging to Robinson and Anderson showing they planned on getting dinner on the night of April 1st. The complaint said that surveillance video obtained by detectives showed Robinson and Anderson then eating dinner that night at Twisted Fisherman on Canal Street in Milwaukee. Prosecutors said that the two of them went to at least one bar, Duke's on Water, before driving around the city and heading to Anderson's home at 39th Street and Oklahoma Avenue on Milwaukee South Side. In a search of Anderson's home from the night of April 1st, detectives looked at surveillance footage from the home across the street, which showed some on-again, off-again movement in the backyard until around 2.45 a.m. on April 2nd. The complaint notice that that is when Robinson's phone appears to leave Anderson's home and travel around the city um, of Milwaukee until it ends up at Warner Mount Park where the severed leg was discovered later that day. While not explaining how Anderson might have been killed, Robert's, um, how he killed Robinson. The complaint alleges that the homicide occurred sometime between their arrival at his house and when Anderson is accused of leaving Warner Mark Park on April 2nd. In the search of Anderson's home, investigators found blood on bedding in one bedroom and several gasoline containers in the garage and storage area of the home. According to the criminal complaint, a person meeting a friend at the park found the leg on the beach just before 5.30 a.m. on April 2nd. The, com the complaint said the leg was severed just below the hip socket and appeared to have been sawed off and said that the toes had pink nail polish. That the, com the complaint said the leg did not appear to be decomposing. The complaint said that a Milwaukee County Sheriff's detective searching the park for cameras later found video of Cudahy High School that showed a vehicle in the area near the park just before 3 a.m. on April 2nd. Around the time, officials with Cudahy Water Department reported a vehicle rammed the gate at the pump house that leads to the shoreline of the park. So he was desperate to get rid of the body parts, uh, that leg. More video obtained by detectives reportedly shows a person making multiple attempts to walk between the beach and the service drive of the pump house, which the complaint said was near where the severed leg was discovered. Discovery of Robinson's burned car, Robinson's vehicle, um, with vehicle registration 
and several of her items was found the morning of April 2nd with extreme fire damage at 29th and Galena. The complaint said that Robinson's car was burned just before 7.30 a.m. Passerby interviewed by police told officers that they saw a light and a lighter and toss a man toss um okay they said they saw a man light a lighter and toss it into the driver's door or before walking away and boarding a Milwaukee County Transit Service bus around 40 minutes later the complaint notes that the man captured by bus surveillance footage matches Anderson's booking photo that was uh, on his arrest April 4th. Look like Jeffrey Dahmer. The complaint said that Anderson asked the bus driver to let him off at 35th Street and Lakefield Drive on the city south side where there is not a bus stop. He then walks eight minutes to his home, the complaint said. Five days after Robinson was reported missing, more human remains were recovered on Saturday, April 6th, near 35th and Galena Streets in Milwaukee, near where Robinson's car was set on fire. The complaint said that the detectives found a human foot in a wooded area near the train tracks in that area as well and what appeared to be human flesh. Investigators later confirmed that the foot in the area <sighs> recovered um, and the leg recovered on Warnermark was likely from the same individual. Milwaukee County Sheriff Danita Ball said during a news conference Friday morning that not all of the remains found have been identified. Officers arrested Anderson about 1.15 on April 4th during a traffic stop near 38th Street and Lakefield Drive, a few blocks from his home. Ball said they do not believe that there are any more victims and that the person responsible has been arrested. Anderson has a criminal record. The court shows he had a 2014 misdemeanor disorderly conduct conviction in Waukesha County following an incident with a family member in Delafield. Delafield. In 2015, he had a misdemeanor domestic violence case in Door County. For the last few years, WISN Channel 12 News has learned Anderson worked at several Milwaukee bars including the rave from 2018 to 2020 and was most recently working at Victor's. Damn! On the city's east side. What? That's where he go meet the people at. Oh, this is wild. This is wild. Okay, that's the latest update, y'all. Um, man, my heart goes out to the family. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Tashina Robinson, um, I'm so sorry. And to the family, I'm so sorry for y'all loss. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. May God grant this family some sort of peace. I'll see y'all in the next video. Please comment um, and tell me what you think. See you in the next one.